Today I would like to walk you through a Red Hat solution pattern that implements key aspects of modern IoT Edge architecture in an exemplary manner. The pattern is called Bobby Car and it is in the context of the automotive industry. Now the automotive industry is undergoing digital transformation and rapid innovation. Automakers are now differentiating themselves with software-defined vehicles that deliver enhanced driver and passenger experiences. The solution pattern aims to showcase an end-to-end -end workflow from connecting vehicles and in-vehicle platform components to the cloud backend, processing telemetry data, training AI ML models and deploying containers through a DevSecOps pipeline to the edge. This architecture supports several use cases like over-the-air update deployments, driver monitoring or enabling smart advanced driving assistance systems. Here we see the high-level architecture of the solution pattern. We have on the left side our vehicle simulation components. So they're sending telemetry data to a regional cloud environment where we use several components to process this data. The data we consider relevant for machine learning. We mirror this data to a central cloud environment and then we use Red Hat OpenShift data science to do some machine learning, for example, road classification or um, detecting battery lifetime or other use cases in this context with the data from the vehicles and trigger a DevSecOps pipeline to build the actual um, machine learning models as container images and deploy them to the regional cloud environments as well as to the edge into the vehicles. Now locked into an OpenShift environment and we have deployed the Red Hat solution pattern into this OpenShift environment. What we see is basically the regional IoT cloud environment with all the different components in there. Different messaging components, integration components, but we have also our vehicle simulation application, currently one application running which is simulating 20 vehicles and then we have other things like a weather service, over-the-air update server, um, some serverless services and a dashboard component. And this dashboard is kind of visualizing the communication flow between the components and this is where we jump into. Let's go to the dashboard and there is a map view and we see now the red markers moving um, around the map and these are representing our 20 vehicles and they're all driving to the IBM headquarters. So our first use case is in the context of autonomous driving. So let's imagine wet, icy or damaged roads. They can be very challenging for the driver and a safe and appropriate way of driving is required. So automated vehicles, they need to anticipate road conditions correctly and react accordingly. So this means an automated vehicle will know exactly if, where and how it can drive automatically. So the system can adapt its driving behavior to respective conditions to choose a different route or ask the driver to take control, for example. Now, in our case, we want to use the road classification for the current location of a vehicle, as well as the current weather data to make a decision on which systems we want to enable or disable. So we see now the car detail uh, view and uh, we have the GPS position. So we see where is the car driving. We also have a heads up display where we can look at the current values, so the current speed, RPM, fuel consumption and so on. We can now trigger the functionality by hitting this cloud icon. This will send a request to our road classification service as well as um, retrieving the current weather data through this um, IBM API we use here. And based on these results, we make a recommendation. So in our case, for example, um, we recommend to enable the driver monitoring assistance system. This leads us to the second use case. As of mid last year, all vehicles put on the European market, for example, they will have to be equipped with a certain safety features like driver drowsiness and attention warning systems, advanced driver distracting warning systems, event data recorders and more. So let's enable now the driver monitoring. And we see now in the infotainment section that the application has started. This is an in-vehicle machine learning application that is running. Um, and we use two cameras. One is monitoring the driver, one is mon monitoring the outside um, environment of the vehicle. And we also use the um, data we get from the different ECUs in the vehicle over a CAN bus. 
We use all that in combination to calculate a driver distraction, a driver reaction and a vehicle collision risk. So this is one of the use cases we've uh, implemented with a partner. So we working together with, with leading partners such as Entity Data to add these capabilities and to enable security features and enhance customer experiences. Over the air updates um, and data gathering play an essential role in software defined vehicles. With over the air updates, automakers they can increase the safety, performance, handling, and capabilities of their vehicles after they are sold and without requiring owners to visit a dealer, shop, or a service point. You see on the map the, the red circles here. So they are for specific, um, there are specific zones, and for example, there is an area where we have um, high air pollution or bad road conditions. So we create a zone to apply location-based configurations to the vehicles as soon as they're entering the zone. So let's select one of the vehicles here and go to the car detail view. And we can now query um, the current engine configuration for this vehicle by hitting this um, car icon. So we get specifically the gear behaviors. This is a um, table which gives us kind of the um, speed RPM ratios per gear. And we just have a look at the first two values. So this is the current configuration of this vehicle. And we have four gear one an RPM of 1010 and 2010 and as soon as the vehicle is now entering a new zone you see it like here it just entered this zone um, this triggered now the over the air update and if we um, have a look at the data again we should see different values so now we have um, an RPM of 1030 and 2030 so we are we have a different configuration for this um, gear behaviors which was applied through an over-the-air update um, deployment. Now, creating, operating and maintaining a modern IoT Edge environment requires all disciplines and knowledge we have in IT. And there is not a single vendor who can provide um, or implement all capabilities needed. With our broad portfolio of foundational cloud technologies like Red Hat OpenShift together with Red Hat Application Services and Ansible Automation, as well as with the right partners, we are able to support customers in every aspect on their journey building a hybrid cloud IoT Edge environment.